Hey guys, it's Mapper here once again, and recently I have made my first trapper, and this trap character is based around crit vortex attached to traps. The character is still very largely being built, but before I show you everything about what I'm currently chosen to do and how I've built it, um, if you're anything like me and you know nothing about traps, or knew nothing about traps rather, I will go over some of the basics just to show you how to build a trap character or what's currently required and what traps necessarily mean. To make a trapper you have to do one of two things, and that is either play with traps themselves, things like ice trap, um, just built in traps that are already made and you just attach supports to them and throw them, or build around a skill attached to the trap gem. That is a support gem, you attach it to a certain spell, and then it turns that spell into a trap, like I've done with vortex. So when you throw your vortex traps, um, or just traps in general attached to vortex, then vortex is spawn. Whereas if you're just using ice trap, uh, you just throw ice trap, it'll be attached to whatever supports you want, and it's still a trap, it will pop eventually and do some fancy shit. Now, the built in traps have their own sort of in niche and purpose because the cooldown time as you can see at the top there is two seconds meaning when you get up to three maximum traps if you throw one it's only going to take two seconds to then rotate back around and refresh to add another trap to your pool whereas if you use the trap support the cooldown time is four seconds which is twice as long now both of these cooldown times can be reduced through things like um Hasty reconstruction, 20% increased cooldown recovery speed, uh, as well as that one, so that's 30% there. And the saboteur passive over here, which is 40%, so in total that's something like 70% um, faster recovery of your trap. So you can see the two seconds on ice trap becomes rather fast, it's pretty much a second cooldown, if that even. And the vortex trap, still very strong, is a lot slower on its cooldown, but it has its own p um, purpose and niche. And... The reason you might want to attach some other spells is because they're different, they do different things, and as well as that, the trap support also has a pretty large multiplier of 38% more damage at level 19. So those are the basics around traps. Now, to actually build a trapper, you have to go one of two different methods, because essentially you want all of your traps to explode at the exact same time, or around the same time, so that they're all going off and you're not wasting any. And to do that, you have to go either chain reaction, for the node that says when your traps trigger, your nearby traps also trigger. So what you're doing is you run in, you throw a few traps, as soon as one of them pops, all of them will pop, um, by any monsters that is. So as soon as one of them pops, all of them go off, and it's pretty efficient for clearing that way. So you definitely need either that, or the other method is to not have chain reaction and saboteur, because it is essentially the only good part of saboteur. Uh, there's basically nothing else really terribly exciting for traps. The other method is to go a sunblast belt because it has 80% reduced trap duration. Currently traps last 16 seconds. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. Traps last 16 seconds right there. When you put on sunblast it goes to 4.3 and then you grab two of these jewels at cheap construction. 10% reduced trap duration. So if you slap two of those into your um, setup then all of a sudden your traps last 1.1 seconds. And Sunblast says traps trigger at the end of their duration. So it only lasts one second, meaning they're all going to trigger after you drop them in one second's time. So that's the two current ways you can build a trapper, either going saboteur for all of the um, traps triggering as soon as one triggers, or Sunblast and then you don't have to really be a saboteur and you can build into something like an assassin for example for more damage and all of them will trigger at the same time likewise um, if you're doing ice trap for whatever reason ice traps will also all trigger at the same time after the one second now i am still figuring this character out so i don't exactly have to, anything too definitive to show you um, but I do have a few random clips of things I've been testing. So I've tested Ice Trap as well as Vortex Trap with clusters, with increased areas, with conch effects, and just by itself for pure single target burn damage. Because my build is based around going Ice or Vortex Traps and Pyre to convert it all to fire and then use Ignites to do big damage. So this is Ice Trap functioning, and this here is a single target um, Vortex. So just a conch effect Vortex and you can see the burn can get extremely powerful in these situations. 
but for the most part I'm trying to stick as much as possible to Vortex Trap and decide in the end game whether or not I'm doing cluster traps for single target or just pure conch effect for single target or if I'm going to go consuming darks which then converts about 60% of my damage uh, into chaos and then you're not really relying on burn as much but you're mostly going to be relying on chaos damage and poison but at this stage I am sticking to just pure burn and fire damage with Vortex, and I may do Ice Trap in the future if I feel like Vortex itself isn't cutting it, because Ice Trap can be specked around with an Assassin a lot easier, and that's going to give me a lot more damage. One thing I will also mention is the lag you see, or FPS chopping, is nowhere near as substantial on my end, and it's mostly being caused by the microtransaction, and this is what Vortex looks like without the micro, with all the traps going off at the same time. So that's more or less the basics around traps and my character. I'll just show you real quick how I built my character. And in the next few days, hopefully, we'll see him tackle bigger, harder, stronger content and what he can actually do. Um, at the moment, level 83 hole tosser, as kind of is implied by the traps. Uh, it's been very fun to play so far, all the way up to this level. Mostly, it becomes very enjoyable to play once you get to... Uh, chain reaction, so around cruel difficulty and ascendancy, or if you start straight away with a sunblast and using two cheap constructions, because you really do need that reliability from somewhere. As well as that, cluster traps is a very important thing for your fun in this type of build. So currently the links I'm running are Vortex attached to Trap, two most important ones, uh, then cluster traps if you're going AoE and clearing things, then probably controlled destruction because that scales the damage of the vortex as well as the dot and it's very substantial more spell damage. Increased area just for all that good area goodness and then you sub in conch effect for single target typically as well as that trap and mine support as a sixth link. Um, I do have 12% increased vortex radius on my helm and crafted this helm myself. Uh, but that's pretty much it, all you need to know about traps and the setup itself. So typically I'm not running with a sunblast, I'm just running crystal belt and running around throwing traps and letting my chain reaction do all the work. Now it is a CI character, I have also got elemental equilibrium and I trigger that, which if you don't know what it does, gives 50% less resist to elements you haven't done damage with recently. So when I hit with my Orb of Storms currently, I put it down, it zaps something with Lightning, and then gives minus 50 to resist for Fire and Cold. And currently my Orb of Storms setup also does um, Power Charge on Crit and Curse on Hit Ellie Weakness. So Orb of Storms right now is very good for me. I drop it, it does Elemental Equilibrium, it curses with Ellie Weakness, and it gives me my power charges, of which currently I can get 5, but I should be able to get 6 if I respec the Merciless Ascent um, passive. Bandit passive. Uh, besides that, just a pretty stock standard CI build. You get some of the trap nodes over here, a uh, bit of the trap nodes over here. Clever construction, are very important for trap builds, because a lot of things out there right now can kill traps as soon as you throw them, and then they'll never get to detonate. Uh, so... Keep your eyes peeled for something like that. Um, besides that, I am running an Eye of Chayula so that I don't get stunned. And a Dodri's Damning for my second curse, which currently is a Saturn's Mark attached to Blasphemy. Besides that, uh, my setups are all over the place. I'm just using stuff to level for the time being. I haven't really figured a lot of stuff out. Shield charge every now and again to avoid stuff. But for the most part, I do a lot of running and throwing. As I mentioned, my build is centered around the Pyre Ring, pretty much, which converts all of my cold into fire damage, and that lets me ignite with the um, Vortex itself, because it's now fire damage. Now, with the Cluster Traps, it's 38% less damage, and you throw a lot of them. It makes the 
uh, burn portion, the crit, the ignite, and as well as that, the dot that it leaves behind, a lot weaker. So bear that in mind, but it still does do something. When you take cluster traps out and make it more of a single target, and then especially put in conch effect instead of area, that's when your vortex starts to do a lot of dot damage as well as ignite damage from the crits that you may create. For the time being though, I think that's it. I still have a lot to kind of progress on this character and figure out and hopefully in the next few days I have some more updates about this character. All I can say is traps these days are nowhere near as bad as I remember them because back when I last tried traps um, there was no ascendancies, there wasn't a lot of the current cool support gems, a lot of the jewels that currently exist, there's just there was a lot less that you could do with traps when I last tried them and they were far worse and more boring and these days I actually think traps are pretty cool and I can definitely recommend it as a build. So thank you very much for watching today and I'll see you guys next time.